farm workers have always been on the outside. Um, it goes back, as I mentioned in, in my sort of opening remarks, to our history with slavery, to our uneven relationship with immigration. But it was really codified in uh, the 1930s when you had some of the major labor legislation, the National Labor Relations Act, Fair Labor Standards Act, 1935 and 1938, I think. Um, these uh, major, I mean, really transformational pieces of legislation provided protections that we now take for granted. Um, eliminating child labor, uh, providing for overtime, the right to unionize, the right to organize, that sort of thing. Uh, there were two categories of laborers that were left out, farm workers and domestic workers. If you think for a moment, you can figure out why those are the two categories. In order to pass the legislation, they needed the southern vote, and African Americans were the people that worked in those two categories. They are the ones on the farm fields. They are the ones uh, providing de domestic support. And so they were left out of these major pieces of legislation. And they were really left behind. Um, even now, they don't have the same protection as other workers. Uh, there were some changes in the 1960s, particularly after uh, extraordinary documentary, uh, Harvest of Shame, that was shown in 19 on Thanksgiving 1960. Uh, a few changes again in the 70s, but as a rule, they've been left out of uh, standard protections. 